What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we are inside of Windows Server 2016. And what we're going to be doing is creating shares. There's actually two ways, three options to create shares inside of Windows Server 2016. I'm not really sure if 2012 was like this or not, because I never used it. I did use 2008, but I do not ever remember seeing anything like this. You can let me know in the comments on whether or not this was is a new feature or something that has been added before previously so we are going to come over here we're just going to open up a folder uh, let's go inside of our f drive so let's say that we want to allow somebody access to f drive we right click on it we go to share with and advanced sharing choose advanced sharing and then share this folder give it a name permissions and then you come in here and then we always remove the everyone and then we come in here and we add in the user that we want to add in or we can type in uh, just a single name right here and then we can get all sorts of names then we can bring them all in and then we can give them uh, the proper rights or permissions inside of each one of the folders there is another way of doing this we're going to come over here inside of our server manager. We're going to come over here to file and storage services and then choose shares. We're going to actually stop sharing and click OK. So now that is no longer being shared. We're going to come over here on task and choose new share. Now remember I said that there's three different options on sharing. Two different types of sharings or two ways to share but three options. So I'm going to show you option number two. Option number two is going to be the quick share. Okay, I cannot do this one. I can do that one. I can't do this one or this one. So there's three options that I am not allowed to do on this system. However, I can do the application, which I'm not going to do because I'm not going to be doing in Hyper-V. I'm going to do the quick. We're going to click on next. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to select where we want our share to be at. So I'm going to choose the F drive right here. It says the location of the file share will be a new folder in the shares directory on the selected volume. So we're going to come over here and we're going to rename this to squiggly line at the end. And then we're going to click on next. And now the share is going to be whatever share name that we get it. So we're going to say uh, cars crack. That's the username for my computer. So we're going to click on next. And we're not going to allow caching. We're going to click on next. And then we're going to give it permissions. We're going to come over here. We're going to add and then select the principal. And then we're going to give this one to Cars Cry. Check the name. Click OK. Click OK again. Apply OK. And then click on next and create. And then choose close. And as you can see right here, it has Cars Cry is inside this folder. We come over here it has the share right there and then the cars cry and now he can come in or i this is my laptop so my laptop user so i can come in i can add whatever i need to add here the next way the third option click on task new share uh one thing i do want to say is that doing it like this is something that you would do inside of a large organization so if you got two more people and you want them to have access to a folder on the server, then this is the way you would do it. They will be located inside the share. And so they will only be able to access that share. That is the only share that they can access. Okay, this right here is all of the shares that are available. And as you can see right there, it's showing the cars cry. So I can come in here and I can add in another share. now if we come over here and we open it up we have two locations right here so now if we come over come over to here okay you can see just this one right here we right click we refresh and now we've got two locations that are available for shares so this is the best way to do it if you are going to have a lot of people accessing a location on the server this is the way that you want to do it now if you are simply a lone wolf like I am, then you're going to do new share, click on next, and then we're going to type a custom path, and then we're going to actually choose our F drive, select folder, click next. 
and then we're going to full control and then set all this and now it's going to go through and it's going to set up all the security settings for it and then we're going to click next and create and then close so if we come over here now and we refresh the page it's going to have the f drive in here and see there we go we got the f2016 sitting right there so that's you're given two ways three different options so remember you got this way which you can right click and then you can go down to properties and then you can go to sharing or whatever event sharing you can do it through that way or you can just simply do it through this way which this is the uh, the method that i prefer to use it just seems a lot easier and well let's just face it it's a lot more professional within your company to come in and do it like this and you keep everything now remember inside of the share i um I unchecked the everyone so that there is no well the everyone is back in here again so we remove the everyone click apply click OK click apply click OK then click close okay so now we're gonna come over here refresh and now let's go back over here and it should okay now there's nothing in there because nobody else needs to have access to this location. Okay, the only people to have access to this location right now is Cars Cry and Cars Promo. Okay, I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios with Windows Server 2016. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye. Mm,